Hey YouTube! We're Sharon and Marvick. We are Primed and Primed and uh, welcome back to our channel. As promised in our previous videos, we're giving you our collective mm -hmm. ASOS haul. And some of the stuff we picked up really feeds into us going to Splendor in the Grass, which is a music festival here in Australia, which goes over three days. Three days. And it's taking place in Byron Parklands and we'll be going at the end of July. So the stuff we picked up, we split into four categories. They are outerwear, clothing piece, accessories, and a bag. We'll just get straight into it. So the first category is outerwear. My first piece from ASOS is this blue cardigan. It's a long line cardigan which reaches mid-calf. I chose a long line cardigan because it could double up as a blanket mm -hmm. when you're at a music festival. Yeah. So it's light enough during the day, but if you're going bare-legged, it'll still keep you warm at night. So the outerwear piece I got from ASOS is this white Raincoat kind of has perforated material over the top of it and has these elastic drawstrings kind of cinches in at the waist it has a hood and um, the sleeves are like three quarter length mm. which is very different and very cool I bought the raincoat for Splendor because it just seems practical to have a raincoat especially for a winter festival where there's the potential of rain so if you're going to a music festival and there's the potential that you know it'll be raining definitely definitely pick up a raincoat because that's an absolute must next up we're gonna be talking about the clothing piece we picked up so my clothing piece from ASOS is this denim shift dress it's a collared dress in a dark denim wash with a zipper around the neckline. So it is a simple dress, but denim and music festivals kind of go hand in hand. For sure. And you might want to do something different than a denim jacket, so a denim shift dress works really well, and you can always layer with accessories and outerwear. Yeah. But the clothing piece that I picked up was just this regular short sleeve button up t shirt. Pattern shirts seem to be a really massive thing for music festivals, but to kind of like have a different take on it, very minimal. I decided to just pick up this white one with kind of a black grid on it. Kind of see-through, which is good, so it's breathable material. Next up, we've got our bag of choice for Splendor. Yeah. The bag that I picked up for Splendor was this uh, butt bag, booty bag, fanny pack. Uh, <laughs> so it's this black bag by Me Pack, which is really super duper versatile. I mean, I think the color works well for different outfits. It's also really practical and hold, can hold quite a bit of things inside. I thought it was really cool to do a bum bag instead of a regular backpack. And it's always on your body, which is also really good. The bag is just black all over. It has gold hardware and just a regular clippy clamp. What is it called? A buckle. Oh my Jesus. I'm going a bit cliche this year and just going for the classic mini festival backpack. Mm -hmm. um, it's in a tan color with a massive tassel, tassel detail and it's from River Island. So it's very small. I can pretty much just fit my water bottle, an yeah. apple, bring apples to festivals. Yeah. The best thing you can do. Food. Your wallet and phone. And an external phone charger. Although these items are from independent brands, we still bought them all off of ASOS. Our final category are festival accessories. So what I picked up was this grey cap, which is a five panel cap. It's a little bit different from a regular snapback. I think hats are a definite must have for music festivals because they shield you from kind of the elements, sun, rain, um, and it's also good to hide your dirty hat, dirty hair, <laughs> like, dirty just, face. just to not have to deal with some of the stuff going on, because music festivals can be a little bit uh, messy, so a hat is definitely, definitely a go-to. So obviously sunnies are an absolute festival essential. I picked up these tortoise shell sunnies from ASOS and they're a bit of a hybrid between a cat eye and a wayf wayfarer shape. Mm -hmm. I prefer sunnies with more of a square frame just to yeah. balance out my face. Yeah. So the pair that I got are these kind of vintage shaped pair. Uh, they just have regular black frames. It's kind of a round frame too. The lenses are mirrored lenses and um, yeah, do you want to see? Oh my god, can you see the camera set up? Uh, so that's all the stuff we picked up for this ASOS haul and also the stuff that we can use for the music festival that we're going to. If any of you guys are going to the music festival, comment down below. And if you see us at Splendor, come and say hi. We'll be working for ASOS there as well. Just keep an eye out for us. As always, you can follow us on our social media links down below. And we also have some news to share with you. Look out for our next video because we have a collab with YouTuber Unknown, we're not going to say now, but she's a good friend of ours. 
on YouTube land. Hope you liked the video and we'll see you next week. Hope you liked the video and we'll see you next week. Okay, bye! Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not regular. No, that was really Ding! <laughs> I was like, Nablu. Brenda, a crab claw. They're I'm called lobster clasps. <laughs> <laughs>